I went out this morning and look what I found. <laughs> okay, that's what I knew we had to draw birds. So let me get this out of the way and I'm gonna move over my sketchbook here and we're gonna start with that. Now, when we draw anything, we usually use uh, shapes, but we always use lines. So Autobahn, John, James Autobahn, drew his birds in his, their natural environment. Now they were either resting on the ground or they were up in a tree. So you have to think about before you uh, start your artwork, where you want your bird to be. So if you want him to be on the ground, you would hold your paper horizontally. This is called landscape. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna start by, the biggest part of the bird is his stomach, his body, the main part of his body, oval, his head, circle, the tail, it's like a long rectangle, usually it varies, the end varies per bird. You have to decide what type of bird you're going to draw. If you're doing a robin, for example, they have long skinny beaks. So does the blue jay. But if you were going to draw a cardinal or a different bird it might have a shorter beak again it's a triangle though okay so you need to decide notice I have a nice sharp pencil and eraser available and I'm doing sketching first I'm not sitting here drawing perfect perfect lines okay that's what the eraser is for to get rid of those extra lines so I want to draw a cardinal. I want to draw the cardinal resting on the ground. Uh, I know that cardinals have a peak of feathers. I'm going to call it a peak of feathers on their head. And they do have the shorter beaks. Okay? So basically it's a diamond with a line through the middle. Okay? Cardinals are usually all red. There's his eye. His beak serves as his breathing nose, as well as where he gets his food, obviously. Feathers. Okay, if he's rested on the ground, his feathers are going to be tucked in to his body. The other one might be behind his body here. Just notice how I'm gently sketching these lines to start to form what our bird looks like. And of course his legs, they're like sticks to us, but they support his whole body. Okay, now if this guy's gonna be resting on the ground, I'm gonna give him a line here, which is the horizon line that's behind him. Okay, so here's the grassy area here. And I'm going to draw some lines in here just to show some feathers. Okay, now I'm going to do some erasing. Okay, because we really don't see these individual shapes. Notice I just put a curve there to attach the head. And I'm going to do the same thing, the neck to the body. Okay, he's already starting to look like a cardinal. Cardinals are usually more round, so... I want to fix that. Okay, you can leave a line here where the tail meets the body. Okay. Okay, so that's a basic cardinal. Now quickly, I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to do a bird in a tree tree branch. So he did his drawings and colorings, paintings, his artwork close up as if he was zoomed in with his camera. 
So that's why we're drawing these birds big. That's why we're only showing a snapshot area of where the bird is resting in the tree, for example. So let's just say I want to do a robin. So here I go again with my oval, the long tail, the head. He has a longer beak. Now, everything's going to come out in the coloring when we get to that stage. And we'll be able to identify which bird that you decided to work on. Okay, so basically I followed the same principles as the branch, I'm, I'm sorry, as the uh, landscape where he was resting on the ground. But this time I'm going to draw him on a branch, like I said. Now the branch can go all the way across your paper. Little branches come out of the main branch. They're always going more or less in the same direction as they grow, okay? Toward the newer end of the branch, not toward the trunk, away from the trunk. So perhaps I want to have another branch over here just for interest. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase some of my lines. Let's see. And his head is a little more round. There's the head. And there's the beak. So, that's my robin. And let me flip back real quickly to my cardinal that's resting on the ground. Okay, so do your best, do the drawing, and the next part of this will be adding color. Good luck.